Jack since day one. I mean, that's the thing about all these guys in the ESL League. Many of them that actually play characters have stuck with these characters since day one. Nivex only used Raiden, Foxy's only used Lau, you know, well, and, 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 and here they Scorpion. are making the most of it. You know, yeah. they, they have this knowledge, they have this ability. Even and people like Tarakamaka, who's been using nothing but Liu Kang. I mean, character speciality has been far exceeding uh, going for counter picks. Especially currently. in EU, without a doubt in EU. EU, absolutely. So we're going to be going into this game now. It does look like Under Jim's going to be going for Jax. I don't know what variation MK3 though. Okay, three Jax. But he's going to be going pumped up. Is he going to be doing pumped up heavy weapons? Yeah, he, he can play all three variations. Wait, what? <laughs> Mitsu owns Summoner Quan? I've never seen him use Quan this Chi before. This could be a uh, strange pick. Now, is he going back to Scorpion? Scorpion. Did, uh, did he, is he trolling us? Did he, was he that may, troll? He may have been trolling us. I think that was just a troll. I would much rather see him play variation the Scorpion all than right. Summoner Quan. So it does look like he's gone, yeah, pumped up. He's got the purple arms. It looks like we're going to have pumped up Jax, Inferno Scorpion. It's basically going to be a match of Under Jim is going to try and just get some kind of mistake out of I think I know why joins. Jim's done this. Ground pounds to bait teleport. The gotcha you can't wake up attack. Exactly, yes, the gotcha grab. That's a fan, especially the armored version of the gotcha grab. And it leads him into a really good situation too. Not to mention by itself, 20%. For, for just the, the meter bone gotcha. That, that's a big deal of damage. Okay, so I'm not sure how to call this yet. He has opted to go for the green trousers just to give us the horrible color choice. He could have gone purple trousers and purple arms, but he opts to mix it up. He's in the jungle, so he's going to... Then again, he's camouflage purple lights in his arms. All right. And he tries to go for the first hit. Mitsuo opts to go for a jump straight into an instant jump kick. I think that might have been a teleport buffer. No, but on back to back as well, two immediate instant jump kicks. Oh, and here comes Undead Jim. The delay wake up. I, I already Mitsuo's pressing a little bit too many buttons. I think that's gonna be a restand. Can't go for a defense here. There's those plus projectiles. Doesn't manage to enforce it, but Mitsuo's the patience. Oh, the another jump kick. jump kick teleport. That is so unsafe. Because thing is, if Under Jim just blocked, he'd have punished that. And there's the reset. I love that reset there with Mitsuo's. It looks like it's gonna be comboing in, but by the time it's done, it's actually reset the combo. Uh, that's actually one of the things we saw on the stream that Mitsuo's used to take out, use for glue to get into top eight. And there's the anti. Yeah, that's actually gonna kill. I think that's no, not, definitely not quite enough. Surely not. No, not, not just enough. 20%. No, it's chip damage afterwards. It restands. That's going to be a guarantee. That was the guarantee, I think. But I, I don't know what chip's guaranteed. I know it takes away the option to wake up, so if he's quick, obviously, you know, at that few percent, it's not so bad. But uh, he hasn't cornered, and there's a cancel teleport. It's down four. It's going to try and get out of that corner. Nice. Staggered into the throw setup. Now, the interesting thing here is... Oh, I like that. I love the cancel teleport just to try and get full screen. I get a little bit of zoning on, on the deck. I mean, the thing is, he, he hasn't reused much meter in the offense. So what one thing right there, Mitsuo's always has, is a breaker. Oh, good punish, Monday yeah, Jim. That's unsafe. You can't go for that against Jax, I'm afraid. Oh, and he gets a good down four. That's going to lead into pressure. Gets a low. Doesn't opt to go for the low minion. I'm not oh, sure if that's a mistake. Mitsuo is building meter very quickly. He only just used one a few seconds ago. And there's the low minion. Oh, let's go block mid string. And that's the corner carry. Safe jump setup. Oh, no, he's going to get hit. That's actually going to take it. He's got the bar. He's going to take it. That's it. Game one under Jim. What a punish. Yeah, under Jim just playing. He's playing very safe. I think that's what's giving Mitsuo's problems. He's playing very safe, very slow. And he's not really giving Mitsuo's much to work with, is he? Oh, exactly. He's not really leaving much holes in his strings. His anti airing is on point. His meter preservation is really good. He's not giving him the option to, you know, run well, out of bar. We, we just said before the set began, I think it might come down to under Jim putting the pressure on Mitsuo's and Mitsuo's being a little bit def like predictable, I guess, on the defense. And that's exactly what we saw. We saw under Jim immediately put on his own offense and Mitsuo's just kind of, he tried to get out and he tried to get it going, but the reality is Jim was just on him the entire game. Well, I mean, what, what we saw was Jim being at mad plus frames. Obviously, he can move significantly uh, quicker than Mitsuwones can. Mitsuwones is just getting hit by attacks in those situations. He's not jumping. He's not using bar. He's just getting hit, which means he's trying to jump. He's trying to move. He's trying to hit a button that isn't he's, armored. He's trying to do stuff that isn't blocking. He, I mean, he's that's basically the trying to do stuff that doesn't work, unfortunately, and, and that's all there is to it. He has to, respect, he has to respect the frames, ladies and gentlemen. He has to realize when it's his turn to just sit there and block and when he can attack, and unfortunately, he just didn't block enough in that game. I mean, that's that's the issue, though. I mean, we just said about being predictable on the defense. If you're going to do defensive options, you can't really go for. I mean, granted, he might just, you know, it might just completely slap us in the face. And I love that. Under Jim waits for the down four and then goes for the armored, oh, boy, the armored grab as well. Two bars just like that. But he has got himself quite a chunky life lead right now. This next hit's going to be crucial. A very good trade for Mitsuwones. But again, I mean, I know it worked, but I'm not quite sure I agree with the instant jump kick teleport. It's a, it's a read and a half. But all under Jim has to do is block that. Nice stagger for Mitsuo to get that low. I mean, the back three low minion, that's just more going to be committing to the, the low. Uh, I know sometimes it's quite unsafe if the opponent blocks it. But if you're going to go for these options, and just like there, goes for the safe spear, just to make his options a bit more unsafe, that's probably going to be a grab, I think. That's definitely going to be a grab. Oh, or he knows ahead. it's going to be a grab and goes for the overhead. Very smart stuff. 
a, a much stronger round for Mitsu Owens there. I mean, he I, again, it's kind of like I said before. In that game, he got his mix-up. Oh, wow. That was risky. That was very, oh, very and risky. Oh, jumping. And there's the punish. Oh, actually, it wasn't a punish, but Mitsu Owens tried to move. That was a punish, though. That's going to be a punish again. Oh, not quite. There's under Jim. Oh, he commits to the entire string. And there we go. No whiff punish, though, for Mitsu Owens. Opts to go for a wake-up minion. Oh, makes it whiff that time. Goes for a kick. No doubt. Muffet into a teleport. Gets the low minion. That'll be a full punish. Breaks just a gotcha grab. He probably thought it was going to go into overhead punch. Oh no, Undead Jim drops it. Now the thing is, what the reason, presumably the reason we would see no Undead punish Jim... punish on the overhead punch! Presumably the reason we would see Undead Jim go for heavy, uh, pumped up, we haven't really seen. I mean, if he was in heavy weapons, all of these four two ones would be four combos. It's just because he's pumped up the damage out, but there we go! That's going to hurt. Leave him standing. I don't know how much advantage he has here, but he could take it here. And there it is, Undead Jim ready for it. And he's gonna get the punish. That's gonna ship him out. Wow. And he knew that Mitsuwens would do something. Very smart stuff. He jumped He jumped towards him because he knew his teleport was coming. This Saw him cancel it and then just punched him in the head on the way down. Mitsuwens is definitely able to kind of establish his game a little bit more now though. I mean, he's, he's making a lot of things with. He's getting some good reads and a lovely punish. No teleport though. That would have been a fantastic whiff punish on that environment interaction. Oh, catches him jumping. Buffs it into a grab immediately. Oh, whiff jumping punch into throw. There's a lot of respect here. I think a lot of this is literally just Jim waiting for Mitsu Owens to do something. All these times he's being caught jumping are times that normally Jax can get big damage, but unfortunately those second hits of the 4 one just aren't connecting. Gets the jumping kick. Change the end here. Low minion. Oh, big punish. Oh, and another break for Mitsu Owens. Mitsu Owens keeping his meter for really good defensive options, but unfortunately he is completely out now. And corners himself. Oh, and he gets the low though. That was a really, really good option going for the low. He's going to have to get a full combo. Goes for the 2-1 because it isn't going to whiff against these uh, larger hitbox characters. And he gets that forward too. That is actually punishable. It's minus 10, I believe, but Undead Jim's going to get free pressure on that regardless. Oh, oh and he gets the dash, dash punch. punch. And Wake there we go. Forward. Wake up normal teleport, but Mitsu owns. He had the bar to break, but because he cancelled his teleport, no stamina to do so. Unfortunately, not very calculated there. I mean, if he just did a wake up teleport and it got punished, he could have broke. But because he cancelled the teleport, which with Scorpion costs you 100% of your current stamina, it didn't regenerate in time to break, so it's 2-0 to Undead Jim. It's a very, very, very calculated way of playing right now. Uh, we can see that Undead Jim is basically just... Uh, you'll probably be able to see it in the next game as well, but Undead Jim is he's basically waiting for Mitsu Owens to make the first move and is then playing off of that. It's He's not going in too hard, because the thing about the way Mitsu Owens plays is, if you go in too hard and you just get hit by something that you weren't expecting, like a counter poke teleport, a raw teleport by itself, you know, even if it's not like an instant jump kick teleport like we saw a couple of times in that, that game. That's definitely a common go-to thing. That's, that's going to start off his offense, which is going to, you know, that's what Mitsu Owens does best. He, get, he, he gets a spear and then he wins the round off that one spear. He just keeps it going over and over and over again. Under Jim just isn't really putting, he's not putting all of his cards on the table at once. He's keeping some back. You know, now, he's what a really I want smart to know way. is are we going to see Mitsu Owens switch up a bit and maybe go for a different variation here? Because I don't we, know. We know, he plays I don't know. we know he plays Ninjutsu and Inferno, but the minions that Inferno gives you just aren't making a difference. And it's like, it's like we say every week if what you pick the variation for isn't giving you anything, try something else, you know? Well, I think it's, the, the other variation we know that Mitsu Owens can play is Ninjutsu. Uh, it's a very footsy oriented variation. You get a lot of good range on the forward two and the back two. The sword normals that he gets access to, however, all of uh, both of them are unsafe on block, and Jax has a dash punch. So I'm fairly certain that if... He's sticking with Inferno, yeah. he's sticking with his guns. But if Mitsu owns tried to go Ninjutsu, I'm fairly certain under Jim, he plays in Ninjutsu himself, he knows what's unsafe. He's just going to wait for those normals and then dash punch them. So Mitsu owns, basically, I think he just needs to tr just not be so obvious, I guess, with well, how he's going to try and Well, Jim didn't get the Quartan jungle, so maybe, yeah. you know, maybe he, he's not going to be as familiar with these interactions, most likely, so maybe we'll see that make a difference, but we'll have to see. It's mainly going to be Mitsu Owens is just going to have to, he's going to have to punish harder, because he's not punishing overhead dash punches, but Jim is just, if Jim keeps up this brick wall slow-paced play, and just this relentless pressure, then he, Mitsu Owens is going to struggle. I mean, I don't want to curse it, but it just feels like Undead Jim is making himself very hard to open up. And there we go, there's the plus frames. Oh, wow, your mind, I believe that's plus eight on hit. Mitsu Owens getting away with the down one very oh, cross up down two cancel the teleport again no stamina here oh and there jim he's seen that a couple of times he's not gonna let him get away with it again, again. mitsu owens attempted the break but had no stamina due to the cancel teleport and that's a swift match point for undev jim but mitsu owens has three bars to make this comeback but he's got to win three games in a row at this point if he's i would stay in i would absolutely love to see uh, I'd love to see Mitsu Owens try and go for some sort of bait to bait the dash punch and then neutral crouch it. I mean, you can just neutral crouch it like Mortal Kombat 9. Again, getting a jump kick teleport. Risky play, but it is going to pay off. But I really would like to see him neutral crouch that dash punch like it's Mortal Kombat 9, get a punish. Under Jim, ready for that. Really good, but no punish, unfortunately. Almost think uh, Under Jim maybe would have opted to meet that to the armor, but he does have the gotcha grab, which does more damage anyway. So interesting choice for the interactable there. He's going to stagger it, and he down one to the grab attempt. 
Interesting stuff. That's gonna be plus. And he tries to press buttons under Jim, recognizing he pressed buttons last time. That's probably the last break in Mitzwoins is gonna have this round. So he's gonna oh. have to make it count. Jump kick teleport. That's literally the bread and butter of Mitzwoins right now. And he breaks just as don't even give him the chance. Might have been a dash punch, not quite close enough for the punish. Oh no, it's absolutely not a true block string. There's the patience. You just see Jim waiting, just blocking, waiting for him to hang himself. Oh, and he gets another jump kick teleport! So many of those! Mitsuwoin's gonna win the round on that! Undead Jim, far too patient, if anything, in that last minute. Just, he had not really the bar to break. Just go in, you've got a bar for the counter poke. At that health, it would have killed him. A bit too slow from Jim there, really. Mitsuwoin's really making the most of it. That would have, that was another jump kick teleport. I'm willing to bet everything on that. Oh, and he doesn't get the punish! That's gonna be a punish, though. Oh, and he low profiles it! That slide is a very an interesting move to try and punish, I think. Counts with the teleport. Again, no stamina. If he gets hit here, it's going to hurt. Gets a forward two. Good overhead. That's going to be a splat. Tries to go for it, but he's going to eat the gotcha grab. I mean, that by a single move does a lot of damage. 22% for a single reversal. On Jim. Definitely, definitely playing very patient here. Mitsuwoin's cancelling another teleport for a free way in. Staggers it again. Jim not falling for it. Mitsuwoin's going to have to mix that up. Oh, and that's going to be a full confirm. He has to break. That would have hurt big time. That's going to be a punish. Oh, attempts. Mitsuwoin's caught pressing buttons. 22% chunky damage. He's going to be at a significant life deficit. Oh, and he gets the Mia Burn teleport! I, I don't know, I don't know why under Jim went for the uh, Mia Burn there, but Mitsu owns. Really smart there. He's gonna get the Mia Burn teleport. This is gonna lead into pressure. What is the mix up? And he gets it! Oh, very unfortunate. I'm not entirely sure Mitsu owns was planning on that blocking. That might have been either an intentional reset or. He just did it too too early, or too late, I guess. He didn't even get the jumping punch. So. Well, impressive stuff from Undead Jim. He'll be moving on in semi-finals where he's going to have to fight a Foxy Grandpa. Yes. Mitsu owns, no, congratulations for making top eight. Definitely did improve his play as the set went on. I mean, game He tried to adapt. He, he definitely game tried to adapt. Game one was a bit of a mop. Game two definitely brought it back a bit.